You're going to start with your horizon line, so make sure your ruler is parallel to the crease of your uh, paper. And then make a dot somewhere on the horizon line. Next, we're going to start with some orthogonal lines. Remember, orthogonal lines are key to drawing perspective along with the vanishing point. This is what's going to dictate or let us know how thick our tree trunks are, or our trees. So for this practice exercise, we're going to be drawing like Christmas trees. <laughs> Sorry, pine trees. So they're going to get thicker as we get close to the bottom as they're going off of the page. So the leaves are going to come out. Now I'm going to draw them each tree as I go with my orthogonal lines. That way I don't get lost because this is a whole forest. So this should be wall-to-wall -wall trees around the whole paper. That means there's going to be some smaller ones in the background. Remember, objects are smaller as they get farther away from the viewer. That goes for anything behind the trees up front. So I'm drawing a circle to help me figure out where the treetops are for the ones that are closest to me, the viewer. And then anything outside of that circle should be shorter and farther away. And therefore, smaller. Treetops that are touching that circle are going to be closest to me and larger or wider. So just keep drawing some trees. Draw, 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 trees, trees, trees. Probably would have been helpful if I used a pen. And especially once I start erasing, because I have orthogonal lines that are straight mixed in with all my curvy leaves. So make sure that you're using a pen. Trace over your trees with pen before you erase. So now I have a pretty looking forest and I think I need a sun or a moon. And I don't want it to actually be where the vanishing point is because we never take a picture directly of the sun. The moon maybe. So I found a marker cap, traced it. Now I have a sun or a moon. 